City life. The constant sound of moving cars, the loud chatter among civilians, this is where the wind blows just a little differently. Sometimes I dream of a life in a farm where you can actually hear the wind howl without buildings interrupting its momentum, or hear animal sounds right when you wake up, and live somewhere where the stars are a little bit brighter. That's why when my grandfather passed down Greenville Farm to me, I just knew I had to take care of it. If you want another reason as to why I want to live here, I really want to level up my gardening skills, but in a fun way. So here's 100 days of living as a farmer in Bloxburg. Okay, I think I see it. That's our farm right there, Greenvale Farms. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So for day one, we arrived at Greenvale Farm and quickly noticed that it definitely needs our attention. It is quite run down. It came with a house and a barn. So of course, we just had to explore it. Okay, let's go inside. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh my gosh. I think it is our job to furnish it. I don't really have furnitures with me. The U-Haul truck isn't even here yet. And I don't think it will be for a few days. While I waited for that U-Haul truck to arrive, I set up my sleeping bag and set my suitcase down. Okay, I finished unpacking. Not really. Okay, so this is my sleeping bag that we are going to sleep on tonight. And this is my bag over here. Um, yeah, let's keep exploring this place. So this is definitely going to be my bedroom. My gosh, the view from here... I can't see because I'm short. Never mind. <laughs> of course, I had to check out the barn and see what my grandfather left inside. Oh, and we have some tools over here too. I'm so excited to embark on this new journey. I just want us to try our best to renovate and make great use of this farm. Oh my gosh. One day we are gonna look out this very balcony and see how beautiful our farm is. Right now, it's a little rundown, but that's okay. That was to be expected as well. Oops. I did get quite hungry, so I ordered hamburgers and ate it quickly. Then I washed the dishes for the first time in my life. Look at me, washing the dishes! Before the sun sets, I made sure to try out the gardening tools my grandfather left for me. Oh my gosh, this is so fun! Cut! Okay. Okay, my aiming is really bad. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get better at this. Before I knew it, it was nighttime and it was time to rest. Okay, I think it's time to head inside. I am quite tired, so I'll probably just sleep. Night pass, it is now day two here at Greenvale Farm. Ugh, it is morning. That was the best sleep I've had in a while, and it was on a sleeping bed, so that's saying a lot about this farm. I went straight to work and cut down all the weeds in our garden beds and dirt piles. It was really tricky. I, well, I promise we're gonna get better at this. <laughs> okay, there we go. It was time to choose what type of plant we should plant first. Let's start with some vegetables. I think carrots would be nice. Yeah, let's start with that. Planting these carrots showed me that I definitely did not know what to expect when deciding to be a farmer. Because believe it or not, it took the whole day. And that was all of day two. Last carrot for the day. Oh, I'm so tired. After planting that one last carrot, we walked back home. It was times like these when I'd realized that I really miss my bed. The real one, not the sleeping bag one. You know what? Right after I wake up, I'm gonna call the U-Haul people. We need our stuff. I can't sleep on a sleeping bag forever. But I guess for now, this will do. Our sponsor for today's video is Blockstrade. Blockstrade is a reliable website that allows Roblox players to connect when trading. You can use it by clicking on which game you would like to trade items in. For example, Royal High. Here, we will find the recent listings. You can click on the one you are interested in and press the Make Offer button. Then, you submit the item you would like to offer and wait for their response. If you aren't interested in any of the listed items, you can just make your own listing. Blockstrade allows players to connect and find trading partners. If you are needing to trade any items, use Blockstrade now for a swift and reliable trading marketplace. The link is in the description down below. Let's get back into the video. We are now up to day 3. Morning already. My gosh, the sun is so bright. Okay, let me just call the U-Haul people. Wait, did I just see a truck drive by? Wait, give me a second. <gasps> are those all my stuff? They just left them here? My computer is here, my TV and everything. My gosh, they just dumped everything here. They're not gonna help me put it all inside. Are you kidding me? For day three, we spent it arranging our furniture inside the house and unpacking boxes. Okay, I'm actually giving myself until sundown to finish arranging these. Let's take them to my house. Oh, this is gonna take a while. I underestimated how long this would take because it took all of day four too. And we're not even fully done yet. 
Ugh. I finally finished uh, furnishing the whole house. Um, it did take me two days, so I will be sleeping now. I'll do the full house tour tomorrow, but this is what my bedroom looks like. Okay, guys, let's go to bed. It is so sleepy. We are now on day five. I guess I did promise you a full house tour, so this is my bedroom. We still have some unpacked boxes though. I just don't think that I can deal with that right now. But overall, I think I'm kind of finished. This area is kind of really spacious still. This is the downstairs. I did put some pictures of my favorite flowers. And of course my key and everything. This is the living room. You saw this last night. Uh, this is the dining room. Gosh, my head aches from being so exhausted for the last two days. This is the bathroom. Uh, yeah, I just added all my stuff there. Finally, all here. After the tour, I decided to focus on our withering carrot plants and water them back to life. Now that they are fully grown, I replanted them on the garden beds so we can plant something else on the dirt piles. I then slept while day 5 turned into day 6. To be expected, this activity costed us nearly a whole day. Oh, this is really time consuming. Luckily, we were able to plant flowers in front of our house before we retired for the day. A rose bush would be nice. That would be really cool. Let's do it. It got really dark, but I still wanted to finish this before the day ended. Ugh, finally done with that. Okay, let's rest up, guys. While doing my chores, I thought about how I've been feeling lonely as of late. And I'm in the middle of nowhere. While it's really got me thinking, I really think I should make some farm friends. It was now day 7. We completed a whole week here at the farm. But of course, there was no time for celebrations. I continued to work on our farm and managed to plant tomatoes and strawberries. It was a very productive day. Day 8. Today we are going grocery shopping since we still need to cook and eat food. We kinda ran out. Okay, what we're gonna do today, we are going to be buying groceries like I said before. But first, let's check our plants. See if they need watering and all that. Last time, they nearly withered because of my neglect and uh, the dishes. Should probably do that soon. I inspected our growing plants. We are making progress slowly but surely. Look at them, they're so small and adorable. For the first time in a week, I left our farm to hunt down eggs. I see that small town over there. Let's go there, okay? I quickly learned that this supermarket isn't like any other. What kind of supermarket doesn't have eggs? They don't even have milk. I was told by this gentleman right here that there is a trailer park nearby and that they sold eggs. Okay, um, thanks for the tip. So I did do my best to find it. I've been driving for hours and I think we finally made it to this trailer park. Okay. Uh. In no time, we found what we're looking for. Eggs! Eggs right there! And we journeyed back home. Okay, so I've put down our groceries here. But for now, let me just take care of these dishes because they are piling up. Okay. I went back to tending our farm and watched these corn grow in front of my very <gasps> eyes. Corn! Oh my goodness! Corn, look! Corn! <gasps> corn! <gasps> look how fast they're growing! Just because I'm watering them! I got so inspired watching our crops grow that I wanted to tackle planting fruit trees. So I grabbed a shovel from the barn and dug away. I've been getting notifications that our corn plants are withering, so I checked them out. We'll actually get some sprinklers because I don't think, uh, I can't really tell if they're withering or not. And it's not like they're growing either. I did just that and invested in garden sprinklers. That was day 8 and 9 done. It's time to go home. You know what? Maybe we can make dinner tonight. Little did I know, a surprise was waiting for me in the kitchen. Maybe we can finally use those eggs, huh? <gasps> um, what is that? Is that a, a... a chick? I mean... Is it? It looks kind of... Ugly, but... Um... Okay. Okay. Um... Did it come from the eggs? Okay, I gotta check these eggs. Okay, one of them suddenly hatched. Okay, now I'm scared to eat them. But what are we gonna do with this chick? I decided to keep him and name him Albert. And I kept him in the bathroom for the meantime. Okay, oh, sorry. Sorry, little guy. Okay, good night, little guy. I don't know if it needs water or food. What do chicks even eat? Night turned to day once again, and it's day 10. <sighs> good morning, everyone. 
I dedicated today to making a home for a new chick, Albert. I'm not good at woodwork, but I did try my best. Okay, finally finished making a chicken coop. I'm pretty sure this might be too small for it. Eventually, when it starts growing up... Wow, I can't believe I'm gonna be raising chickens. Okay, it's here. Aww. It's actually getting cuter now that I look at it. But I'm pretty sure chicks aren't supposed to look that way. Why does he look kind of off? After that, I still had time to tend to our crops and water them. <gasps> look at our tomatoes! And we were able to sell our produce for the first time. We can harvest it? <gasps> Yes, we can! That's so cool! Okay, we'll just harvest them then. I also made the decision to transfer them to the garden bed for aesthetic purposes. Our roses at the front of our house finally grew. <gasps> ah, I can't get over this! I can't get over this! This is too cool! Arranging them a little bit and voila! <gasps> oh my gosh! We have flowers! We have flowers, we have crops, we have vegetables, we have Fruits? Wait, do we have fruits yet? Tomatoes are fruits. Yes, and strawberries. Of course, we have fruits, guys. We have fruits, okay? I fed Albert seeds from the barn and dug up more dirt piles to plant our fruit trees till sundown. I walked back home and made chili for dinner and even had seconds. Then I went to bed. That was day 10 and 11 done. I ate leftovers for breakfast and planned my day. Better start working because I really want to finish the trees today. I did my daily chores of watering the plants and feeding Albert. Then I got to planting the trees. Okay, we'll put the apple trees first and then the orange trees. Or should we do them alternating? We'll just keep them with their own kind. So first, the apple trees. So I think we'll do apple trees here and at the back, all orange trees. Okay, we'll do that. It's so cute! Look at the little tree! Look at the little tree! That's adorable. After nearly two weeks of hard work and being stuck on level 5 for years, we finally achieved level 6 gardening skill. <gasps> Yay! We're level 6 with our gardening skill. Leveling up motivated me even more. So for the whole day, I worked on finishing our tree grove. I did realize that we unlocked the pear tree, meaning we'll be making the other's pear trees and maybe I'll dig more. Okay, let me just quickly get my shovel and finish this off for the day because I want to make more dirt piles. Even though it got really dark, I still continued on. I just really wanted to finish this for today. Later, I fed Albert his dinner. There you go. Hopefully you grow really big and strong soon. I watched some TV before bed, and it is now day 13. Today, I was faced with a really tough decision. I'm kind of torn. Do I want pumpkins or watermelons? Pumpkins or watermelons? You know what? Yes, okay. Watermelon here and pumpkins over there. Problem solved. Okay, let's just do that then. Okay, we finished early today, guys. 4 p.m. And look at what we've achieved. Tomorrow is our two-week anniversary here at Green Vale Farm. Though not a lot of time has passed yet, but I'm so proud of our accomplishments. We managed to grow carrots, corn, strawberries, tomatoes, our tree groves, and of course, our pumpkin and watermelons have just been planted. And let's not forget our little chicken. They're so cute. So let me just get you dinner real quick. Yeah, we need to build Albert like a better home soon. But yeah, that's all Albert. Here you go. But we finished early today, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, tomorrow, our 14th day. 14th day. Our two-week anniversary here. I'm so excited. To celebrate our milestone, I treated myself to some berry pies and TV. It is only 6 p.m. right now, and I'm just enjoying this cooking show and just chilling. After working for 14 days straight. I'm so satisfied. Is this what it feels like to actually have accomplished something? Anyway guys, I think I'm kind of falling asleep a little bit here. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. It's day 14, the two week mark. I plan for today to just be chill. I did my chores, watering the plants and feeding Alberts. But there's one small problem. <gasps> no way! Are those feathers? And blood? Albert? Oh no! Oh no! Guys! I think Albert was just eaten by a fox or something! Oh no! Poor Albert! That's when I knew I should have really done my research before coming here. I hope you guys liked this video and please watch out for part 2 of this farm series. After all, it's not day 100 yet.